education. And the government earlier this week rolled out the competency-based curriculum CBC for grade four learners. Learners are expected to have eight lessons a day each going for about 35 minutes. All well, the lessons include physical and health education, mathematics, English, Kiswahili, or Kenyan sign language, mm. science and technology, and social studies. Makori Ongechi visited some grade four learners and filed this report on just what they are doing in class. Mm. This is a class 4 lesson at Uberu Genesis Primary School in Dagoretti. The learners actively engaged in a science and technology lesson. And on this particular one, they are required to distinguish between the living and non-living things. But how different is the competency-based curriculum? Evidently, the science teacher has with him some of the living and non-living things in class. His emphasis not the tradition of chalk and talk. At some point of the class, the learners who are all equipped with different digital devices move out of their classes and as part of the practical lesson, they are able to identify and take photos of the living and non-living things which forms part of their class. You make things by your own, you create things, new things, and you use your brain as you make the things like a portfolio. Um, we made instruments, string instruments, out of real, we reused string. Um, old bottles and a wood. The class teacher says by learning in groups and not just memorizing facts, it helps develop competencies and understanding core values as per the guidelines in the CBC. People who are able at least to identify most of the living and unliving things within their environment. At a time when the government is rolling out the CBC in grade 4, a crucial group that has only two years before transiting to junior secondary, Lynette Masiga, a grade four class teacher at Harvest View Academy in Bakasi, says engaging learners in her class has enabled them to come up with ideas by themselves. So then the that's what I want to achieve huh? is for them to know how to play around with colors. Mostly my aim is for the colors. Because once they know the primary colors, so by the time I'm, re I'm, uh, I'm teaching colors, they're able to identify. And also by the time we start drawing and doing different forms, they're able to know. While children in private schools seem to be moving ahead of their counterparts in public schools and CBC delivery, particularly on digital literacy and the numbers in question, Education CS Professor George Magoha, who supervised a number of public schools to witness the launch of CBC in grade 4 last week, has maintained that each child is getting an equal share of knowledge. The special task force formed by Professor Magoa to advise on the effective delivery of the CBC is expected to give its report by June this year. Now the class has a special arrangement with 25 learners and for the last 35 minutes that I've been part of this science and technology class, my passion of going back to grade 4 has suddenly come up. Makori Ongechi, Citizen TV, Nairobi.